Oh my goodness me. Oh, Beck Racing Online in Forza Motors. What we're going to find out here at Watkins Glen in this Lotus. As you can see, we're going to go. We've got good fuel. We've got good tyres. Come on, car. And these are all literally the same cars. There's been no issues with BOP. The racing should be very close. I've been pushed wide. Surely I can't get a pen. Oh my goodness, that was very close. Really need a radar in Forza. And oh, we made it through. This video, by the way, is sponsored by GT Omega. I'm racing in a GT Omega Prime light rig. It's a very cost-effective way to get a really solid aluminium extrusion rig. Oh my goodness me. And you can see that I'm able to navigate this chaos because I'm in the stability of the GT Omega. So make sure to go to gtomega.com and use my code Kirith5. It'll give you, a, give you an extra 5% off all the sales they're already running. So make sure you do that. And a big thank you to GT Omega for sponsoring this absolutely chaotic falls of video. Gonna get round. This is absolutely mental. I've got to be honest. Can't see a thing. I'm getting hit left, right and centre. This is another advantage of being in third person. You can actually see what's going on. The guy in the lead's got a five second penalty, so I imagine he's on a massive track cut. I mean, what was that about? Mm, okay. Uh, I hope I was an innocent party there. <laughs> We're in the trenches, though. We need to catch up. We're in the trenches. Penalty? Okay, now we can go to the back to the safety above of you. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. I'm already sort of being punished for not having the best lines through there. But looking at the radar, there's a lot of cars up here that we can get into, you know. Maybe a decent recovery. We'll have him or her. getting a bit fed up of being rammed to be honest it's like oh another another like contact just the sound of it is like really irritating me bro i think this is the archetypal falls of race i gotta be honest spec racing might be even worse because everyone's so closely bunched up together let's try and unlock some pace Force feedback is very violent when it, it it does nothing most of the time. It's like having a um, like a cobra in your bedroom that you just get used to not doing anything, and then one day it just kills you. That's literally what the force feedback's like. Like absolutely nothing now, nothing. And then you even just you, you just breathe on the curb, and it almost. I mean, if it wasn't for the GT Mega Prime light, I mean. You need a proper rig to handle this force feedback, this crazy force feedback. Can we get some more positions? Just about saved it. Oh, ah, right. Now, is it, that looks like I'm uh, no penalty. You be the judge. You let me know in the comments. Did, did I murder him? Let me know. It's going to be the last lap. I feel like we need to try and hold on to this 15th. level low but we'll make it I think so he's right behind us 
Leroy Turbo has got no penalty, so at this rate he would overtake us. We're going to try and go side by side. I don't really know where he is. The arrow is as useful as a chocolate brake calibre. What a race! I have no words! I have no words for this. I have no words. What is going on with Forza? I mean, if this is your... If you've got this on Game Pass, and this is your experience, you're going to be thinking, I may as well do Need for Speed. Like... Force feedback is so strong when you go over any curb ridiculous. This has been an absolutely oh my goodness it's a terrible race frankly. <laughs> Let's not sugarcoat it. It hasn't been it's not going to go up there as one of the greatest Forza races of all time and certainly not for me limping home in P16 Wow well I'm going to put some better races up here, so check them out if you want to see some top races, but that's just a reflection of Forza at the moment.